How's it going guys? Today I'm out side dressing corn. So this is one of my uncle's fields. Nice big open field under a pivot. So I did on all this last night and I'm just getting rolling this afternoon. Not a whole lot left for this field. And then my uncle has 10 acres over there at a different farm. And then my dad has 10 acres. And then my uncle has another 10 acre field to do. So we're going to try to do all those today. And then tomorrow, try to do in the last field of my dad's, which is like 20 acres. And then we'll be done side dressing. So. All right, I just finished this field. I ran out right before finishing. So, but that's nothing worth coming back for. So I'm gonna go back over there to the trailer and fill up again, and then I'll head to the next field. All right, moved over to this next field. This one's got nine acres. So I emptied out the fertilizer trailer, so I have about 350 gallons on the tractor right now. These are each 200 gallon tanks. So I don't know if I mentioned before yet that I am fertilizing, that's what this is doing. It just comes out of the tanks. There's a pump on the back that I'll show at some point, if I remember. And then it pumps it up into that uh, big splitter thing. And that sends it out through all those hoses, which takes it down to a knife and is, it is injected on both sides of the corn plant. So. We have to do it this way because this particular fertilizer will burn the leaves of the plant. And when we come up to the end and stop and lift up, kind of see my windows are dirty, but it's, maybe you can't really see. It kind of drips out whatever is left in the hose. Because the, the pump back there is ground driven. I forgot if I mentioned that. But it only runs when that wheel's on the ground. So when it drips it out, after a few days, there'll be little burn marks on the corn at the very top of the field. So it comes out of it because it's not very much. But if you were to come out with a sprayer and expect to spray it on, you'd I don't know if it'd kill the corn or not, but it would at least hurt it pretty bad. So, And then we are cleaning out the corrugates as well. So, yeah. All right, so this is what I'm working with. So, John Deere Center Proof 14R. And then pretty much just a corrugator bar. Uh, as you can see, maybe I'm down to like right here. So gotta wait for my uncle to get back. He's filling the fertilizer trailer. So this bar, I'm pretty sure I've shown in a lot of videos. We use this to corrugate out wheat and corn and anything that's on a 30 inch row like this. And then these knives on these shanks are always on here. We just lift them up when we don't need them. But to get it ready to go, you have to plumb all these hoses to each knife. You can see this, if this is a corrugate, and a corrugate you have a row of corn right here 
and then it puts fertilizer on, on each side and it's taken up by the roots. So then here's the pump right here and it's just driven by this wheel. And if you, I don't think I can turn the one here. Maybe I can. Kind of spin it. Let's see, it kind of starts to come out. All along here. So, that's how that works. Just spin it pretty fast. We go about five mile an hour. And it works good. 25 foot, so I'll move along pretty quick. All right, just finished, got folded up. And now I'm gonna head north. I switched my points on the GPS, and it says that I'm 454 passes south of whatever end of the field that we pulled the points on. So, which is no more than like 30 so I have to go north like 420 passes and then I'll be at the field so yeah gonna head north all right so I'm a little over halfway across my dad's field here moving along pretty quick but our old side dresser did half the half of it, or th that this can do. You can see the bull rows, the pollinator rows uh, for the seed corn, sweet corn, I guess. Uh, and then these are the, the female rows, the cow rows. That's actually that's what you harvest. So all of our old corn equipment just did one of these from bull row to bull row those to that so this was a round the two of these was a round for our old all of our old equipment bed knocker planter and side dresser then we upgraded everything and now we can do two beds at a time so makes things go a lot quicker so the only thing that is still you know, limited is our corn picker that's the machine we harvest this with and that just does the four rows. So, about to run out. You can see my tanks are like empty. But, as long as I don't see bubbles, air bubbles coming through there. Which I did, perfect. There'll be air bubbles that come through there. You can see kind of the fertilizer dropping out so you can see it when it starts sucking air but I guess there must have been a little bit left in there but not much so now I'm gonna fold up head back up and around to the road and the trailer is over there by that haystack and there'll be another load and then that should finish this and then, one more field to do today. All right, here at the trailer, filling up now. So, like I mentioned earlier, each tank holds just over 200 gallons. So, fill up this one. up over here and fill this one. Alright, made it up to my uncle's field. It's a nice long run field. It's about 12 acres, but a good chunk of it's wheat over there, so. pretty quick all right so I finished side racing everything I brought the trailer back down this is just one of our yards We've got haystack and 
silage pit over there that's really nothing left in it but that and then I thought I'd show when I mentioned earlier that they were going to refill the trailer that's this is where they come so as of like two years ago uh, two years ago and earlier we have we have a trailer like this and that's what we used I don't know if my camera's gonna work too well in the dark here but anyway yeah we had a trailer or we still have a trailer like this that we would use for fertilizer but starting last year they brought out a trailer and this year we, they did it again and we just decided to use theirs because we do water cows with our trailer and this way we don't have to worry about getting it cleaned up good because it's probably not the best if cows are drinking fertilizer so they also started bringing this out it's a trailer with these three my camera is really struggling in the dark here but you can kind of see there's three tanks on here 2500 gallons i believe and this is nice because instead of having to call the company and say hey we need fertilizer and them having to bring it out right away to keep us going they can just bring us out a bunch put it in this in these tanks here and then we can just get it as we need it and we've never had to stop whenever we're ready to side dress we can just go side dress so yeah it's a pretty nice pretty nice setup so gonna end the video here thanks for watching and i apologize if the uh videos kind of slow down for a little while it's not really much else going on kind of got to a hopefully we actually get a break for a little bit and then we'll start into cutting second cutting here in a week or a couple weeks probably it's amazing it's already that time again and we got wheat that'll be being harvested here in probably three weeks or so probably mid to end of july so yeah there's gonna be a lot more coming just probably not right away so thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video